Hello, my name is Chris, and in this video we're going to be having a look at Bay Park into the left. Now this is one of the reversing manoeuvres that might come up on your driving test. But once you get your point of turn right, it should be quite straightforward. Now getting your starting position right at the beginning is very important. You need to start about a metre away from the bays that you're going to be using. Make sure you check all around the car before you start the manoeuvre, including the back window. Keep a lookout for pedestrians, cyclists and other cars reversing out of bays, although on your driving test the bays will be empty. Now reversing back to our point of turn. Once you get there, you will stop, put the handbrake on and have another look around. Now we're going to be reversing into the bay that's highlighted green. From inside the car this all important point of turn will look like this. We're going to be using this first line of this first bay as a reference point. We can see how the line disappears into the car, it's near the door handle. Now this point of turn can vary from different cars but it will be something similar. If you were to turn full lock to the left now as soon as you move you would end up in the third bay along. Now where the third arrow is, is the first line of the target bay that we're going to go into, that third bay. Now we can just about see the third bay out of the back side window, so let's have a look. This is our target bay that we're going to go into, it's highlighted green. Make sure that you check all around the car before you start steering into the bay because the front of the car will swing out. And once you've checked all around, you can start reversing back, steering full lock to the left. Steering quickly, but driving slowly. Checking all around. Stopping if anyone approaches you. Drive really slow, it really makes a difference. Now once you're in the bay, and you feel like you're straight, in this case you'll notice that the dashboard is running parallel to the curb opposite. Make sure the car hardly moves and quickly steer one and a quarter to one and a half turns to the right, depending on your car, and then reverse back slowly looking over both your left shoulder and your right shoulder, looking out for where the curb will disappear into your bottom right hand corner into this door pillar, and that's when you need to stop. Stop there and hopefully you've bay parked. We all know though that it doesn't always go as well as it does on a YouTube video. So what happens if it does go wrong? Well what you can do to make this manoeuvre a little bit easier is that you can move your left door mirror down. This will give you a good view of what's going on with the bays and your car. Got to be careful not to just stare at the mirror though, make sure you're checking around all the time. We actually turned a bit too early on this one. And as you can see we are going to end up on the white line when really we should be next to it. So as basically at this point you can see it's definitely not going to go into the bay. So if you do turn too early you need to steer to the right, make sure you clear the white line and then steer back to the left and once you're parallel and you're next to this white line you can then straighten the wheels reverse up to the curb and then stop. That's what you do if you turn too early. But what happens if you turn too late? Well we can see here that we're definitely too far away from that line on the left. Now it is a bit harder to correct this if you have turned too late, but on your driving test you are allowed to drive forward and correct it. Drive forward steer left to get closer to the line on the left, then steer right to get the car straight and parallel again and then straighten the wheels. Now by looking in your left door mirror you should see that you are now closer to that line on the left. As long as you get it close to that line, the line on the right will take care of itself. Make sure that you go back slowly, looking all around, don't just stare at the mirror, keep a good look out and then stop as soon as you get near the curb and that's how you correct it if you turn too late. Well that's how you bay park, hope this video has been useful, if it has then please give us a like at the bottom of the screen as it's really appreciated, 
good luck for your driving test or if you've just been watching this to get better at bay parking good luck with that as well there's lots of free and useful information on our website some show me tell me questions free mock theory tests so please check that out too thanks for watching and see you on the next video